Welcome back, everybody. You got Will and I, man, here from the Block Runner, and today we're going to be talking about MetaKey and Ooh. yeah, and its integration with MetaZone. Look at that. What do you think, I man? Yeah, finally, it's finally here. Yeah, I've been staring at that <clears throat> MetaKey roadmap for months now, waiting for the day yeah. <laughs> where that roadmap objective can finally be realized. You know, we'll, we'll integrate with MetaZone. How? Right. That's the big question. Yes. But there it is. It's 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 the first bullet point, dude. So I'm pretty <laughs> sure people have been wondering if you're familiar with what we do. You know, it, it, quickly explain what MetaZone is, Willis, before we get anywhere. All right. So MetaZone is essentially a set of tools for developers and creators and 3D modelers to create engaging content for the metaverse. And that yeah. content is called a meta. And a meta is acronym for Metaverse Enabled Tokenized Asset. And mm-hmm. so a meta could be anything from a simple building to a more complicated game, uh, a DEX as an NFT, which is one of the more interesting and like surprising, mind-blowing things that was submitted to the marketplace. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, here's where we we want the community to be creative. You can do a yield farm as an NFT, you can create a distributed game like Ethermon is doing as an NFT, as, mm-hmm. as a set of NFTs specifically. Like, yeah. Which we call verses, right? A collection of, of, of any metas, you know, normally it's, it's with the intention of creating like a, an ecosystem yes. that, you know, that leverages all these metas and they, they can kind of interconnect with one another, cross communicate to each other and like form experiences in the metaverse, right? That's a verse. But really it's just like a, Another way to think about it is just another fancy word for a brand, yeah. <laughs> like a brand identity, yeah, right? Or yeah. whatever. Like if you go to any of these other NFT platforms, you know, you have collections for any artist or, you know, whatever. So that's, think of a verse as that. So the meta key verse, this, this is essentially the launch of that, you know, yes. with its uh, upcoming drop. So let's talk about what the drop is. So, this is the beginning of this uh, universe for MetaKey within specifically Decentraland, where if you're a key holder, you're going to get these buildings, right? And so I think there's a there's a sort of um, style. You, you get a specific style based on which key you hold. And if you're a key master, you get the MetaCamp Watchtower, right? So, That's correct. So if you're a, if you're a, um, a MetaKey uh, key master. You're going to get a ton of these buildings. So uh, congratulations to you because that's that's a, what would you call it, a, a real estate mogul in Decentraland at this point? <laughs> I would think so, dude. You're on your way to becoming Trump status in the metaverse, dude. Like you're, you're harvesting structures and buildings. Yeah. What these buildings and, you know, the experiences that end up, you know, what these structures end up, you know, producing is it's totally up to you as the owner of these assets and whatever community you bring in to, you know, interact with them, you know, yeah. the content that you deploy inside of them. It, that's the thing. It's, it's an open canvas, right? Think of these buildings as a, it's a, it's a blank canvas. Yeah. And now you have the opportunity to fill it with content that maybe explains a little bit more about your yourself. If you want to do that, you know, build more identity within the metaverse. Mm-hmm. That's what we do in the real world too, right? Whenever we get our little yeah. fancy pads, for sure. we deck them out with all the things we like to kind of like form our real physical identities, right? So there's a lot that goes into that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and that's just like cracking the surface of what you could do. You know, uh, what we really want to do though is, is kind of like encourage and put a spark in, especially in those who are more creative, is to start producing more content Leveraging the MetaKey brand, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, and so this is the starting point, right? This is not the end. This is the beginning. And uh, so if you get airdropped one of these items, you can, and you don't have to own land in Decentraland to deploy these. You can collaborate with the landowner, and you could delegate this NFT to a landowner, and they can deploy it on your behalf. And, yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, so this is a huge deal from from that perspective is a lot of people don't own land in Decentraland, right? It's pretty expensive these days it's like eight seven or eight thousand dollars per parcel right something crazy like that and Mm -hmm. um so a lot of people won't have land a lot of medic key holders don't have land but if you have land you can deploy these buildings um on your land and with a few clicks just a simple 
<clears throat> click of a deploy button and all of a sudden it's on your land and now you have this asset that you yeah. can you can trade on OpenSea or Rarible wherever you want. And uh yeah, so this is the beginning. We've so, seen this uh, we don't we don't have like a, a demonstration of that yet, but we've seen this with another verse that's in construction called Rovies, um, where the community has kind of, you know, the Rovi community all owns its deployable assets, metas, just like these buildings, right? But like you just said, not all of them own land. So they through a meta zone feature, a delegation feature, they've kind of like self-organized a place to deploy all their assets. <laughs> you know, we could probably pull up like a quick snippet of that. <clears throat> or maybe edit it in or something like that. You could see like hundreds of these things called transporters within the same, you know, land. Yep. I'd imagine somebody within the Medici community probably has a, a ginormous estate. Maddie. You know, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody poke Maddie, like after <laughs> watching this, <laughs> he's got access to plenty of land. I, I don't see why, you know, there couldn't be Medici, Medici uh, like neighborhoods that spawn from this. You know what I mean? This, that's kind of another technical feature that MetaZone allows because there's an in-world remote control where you can customize, you know, placement and configuration of these assets, right? So that's just an idea. It's up to the community to figure out exactly how you want to leverage these assets, Mm -hmm. you know, but that's the point. That's what's so cool about it. You get to kind of experiment and like, you know, do cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. here. So uh, going back to the Medici verse, and so we talked about how the verse is just a representation of a collection of different NFTs that sort of collaborate or connect with each other. And uh, what we want to do is we want to set the stage for enabling the community to contribute to the Medici universe. And so through this platform, anyone can make content for Medici, right? It could be a game. It could be as simple as another building. Like and and you can contribute any style, any anything that you want, and use the Meta Key branding. And so, what we've Im- implemented here is um, through our platform with MetaZone, we're able to enable the community to contribute to the construction of these like mini universes, right? The the verse. And so, yeah. if you submit something, right, Meta Key has to approve it first. And what happens is when you sell this item through using Meta Key's brand you'll get the majority of the cut and a portion of those fees as royalty goes to Medici because you're using their brand name. Mm -hmm. But this enables the community who is very creative. And we've seen this before. I man, is that once you give the tools to the community, they end up making like cool shit. Right. And so with this, with this platform, anybody can contribute to the Medici universe and, and make some money. Right. So that's, we were were already kind of theorizing like, what we're we're, ex, we're already kind of like brainstorming what to what we think is going to be developed and one of the obvious uh expectations is because we've done this in the past with like it's like almost like a think of it as like a cybernetic barrier around your estate oh yeah that, yeah. that you could either just choose a display or not but it, it really it's it's not just a barrier it's like a, an actual functionality coded into it but it has like a you know a space for it yeah so you could put this around any medic building but the, the the core functionality to it would be basically whitelisting people who could walk in and out of these buildings right like if, if for whatever reason you wanted it to be exclusively to medic community members as long as you have a medic in your address then you, you know because of this meta that's been created and this like cybernetic field around it <laughs> it will recognize whether or not you have a Medi key. That's right. Right. The door, the door will not open if you don't have one, you know? So that's not a feature. I don't think in these current uh, renditions of these buildings, but that's the point, you know, you can expand on top of that. You can build more functionality on top of this and, you know, make more metas that have these. Yes. Functions and, you know, you know, make some money for yourself as a creator. You know, that's what we are really trying to do here. Yeah. Yeah, basically you could create like a clubhouse where specific key holders can have access to that clubhouse. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, have your, your meet, meet and greets and kind of collaborate with each other with, uh, with other key holders, right? So that's, and that's the value of the platform is that we can't really know what different communities are going to need or want. So yeah. we give them the tools to make that stuff. And so yeah. once it's done, then you can kind of sell it to other community members and now create like this bigger universe that uh, that's what we expect from 
people collaborating in the metaverse. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. And then for people who own land out there in Decentraland who aren't MetaKey community members, you know, your incentive to want to allow delegation of these assets on your land is, you know, traffic, right? You might have other assets on your land that you, you, you're really hoping to bring eyeballs to. Maybe you're an artist or something and you want people to come visit your art collections. Mm-hmm. Well, deploy a MetaKey building and uh, promote to the MetaKey community that, you know, you guys have access to my building that you have delegated to me and I've had them deployed. Here's my art. Come check out my gallery if you want to do that, yep. right? So yep. more ideas, <laughs> you know. But like you said, at the end of the day, we, we could kind of like uh, brainstorm all day, but we'll never be able to outthink or outcreate the community because it's happened to us so many times in the past. Dude, we get shat on every single time. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, and we saw with the wearable market too. If you're if you're been paying attention to the Central and wearable market, you know that used to be a little more of a closed ecosystem. Now it's completely open, and the creativity we've seen emerge from that has blown our minds again like yeah. we didn't even know like a lot of these things that are being built were even like buildable yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean but people figure it out because that's that's the nature of creativity right and like pushing boundaries which yes. is the stuff we love you know speaking of pushing boundaries so you know if you're a meta key holder you are aware of the meta crew so this mm. was uh, another airdrop that occurred recently and you guys have a PFP project in your wallets, most likely. And mm-hmm. I believe the MetaKey crew are building these avatars that potentially could work in Decentraland. <clears throat> so one thing that, that could be done uh, by the community is uh, while you're in Decentraland, as long as you step into a MetaKey like, building, like, you mm. can deploy a different kind of meta that takes... Um, looks in, into your wallet and says, oh, this guy has a meta crew, right? A PFP project. Let me spawn that avatar um, to showcase that he has one in Decentraland. So when you pull out and you look at your avatar, you look like the meta crew, like while you're in this, um, you know, meta key building. And mm. so that's a functionality that can can be contributed by the community, right? So this is just another example of how the community can kind of uh, contribute here. Yeah, like like we said, the list goes on and on and on and on, and the, it's it's always fun to to think of these new ideas, right? And that's what makes this collaboration so exciting because we know the MetaKey community is pretty big, and it's it's you guys are di- as diehard about the metaverse as we are, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we know Maddie. Maddie's the one who brought us into this this whole space, you know. Right. So if if Maddie's in charge over there and leading you guys <laughs> into this metaverse revolution, whatever you want to call it. Like, you know, you guys, you've probably heard it all at this point. So yeah, we're not, we're not worried about any kind of lack of creativity or whether or not you guys are haters of the metaverse. Like, you know, the, the general population seems to be at this moment, the normies, right? Yeah. You're normies. You're basically, you're one of us, you know, so that's the, <laughs> we're all in the same cult together. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, we have no fear that you guys are going to, it's going to, it's going to hit you soon, you know, <clears throat> quickly, you know, once you start to see these builds uh, deployed, yeah, you start engaging with them, you start populating them with additional content, people start hosting events in them, you know, it's, it's going to click and that's what we're looking forward to seeing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so uh, this is, uh, I guess, the start of what we're like the collaboration between MetaZone and MetaKey, and um, this drop is supposed to happen next Monday. So this is what the fourteenth. So um, if you're watching this on that day, Happy Valentine's Day! And, oh, nice. Uh, yeah, so that's on a Monday, and uh, I guess here's what we're gonna do. I think what we should do, I man, is on that day we should host like a live event and give out some popes based on this, uh, this drop and okay. uh, just talk about like, what, what should you expect? So we're going to have a bunch of articles on how to deploy this stuff. It's, it's pretty yeah. simple, how to de- delegate to a landowner is pretty simple. And, um, and then we can kind of talk about what to expect on that day. Cause that airdrop's going to happen. That's thousands of NFTs being airdropped to thousands of holders. And, um, and yeah, so I think we'll do that on Monday. If, if you're available, of course, I'm in. Hundred percent, dude. You can't miss that, dude. I mean, I'll just have to tell my crush that I'm no longer interested. On, <laughs> you know, I, I, I got to spend my day with the meta, meta key community, yeah. dude. 
<laughs> no big deal, dude. No yeah. big deal. She'll, she'll get it. She'll understand. She'll understand. She yeah. gets it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, let, let me see if there's other particular topics that we need to touch on here. Yeah, so here are the keys. The snapshot for this has not occurred, by the way. So mm-hmm. if you're inclined, if you're in, in Decentraland and you you like the metaverse and you're inclined to participate in this airdrop, all you got to do is acquire any of these meta keys. So, um, yeah, that's kind of an important distinction. I think the the snapshot will occur next Monday. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you got a, bit, a little bit of time. And so part of this video is going to be a Medium article. So hopefully this video is embedded in that article. You kind of scroll down and read the details that we've uh, created for this. But mm-hmm. yeah, that that is the meta key. That is the collaboration. And really, this is the beginning. There's going to be a ton more stuff that we're going to be enabling the, the community to do. Um, we're going to be contributing as well uh, with this. And uh, so, yeah, this is this is it. Yeah, and then... <clears throat> you know, within the article, we speak of the meta key is what we think is a uh, one of the first real examples of a social verse. You know, because you know we're creating verses here, verse ecosystems. We've our focus has been mostly on game verses, and we know meta key can also participate in the, in the game verse ecosystem, specifically within Decentraland at some point. But a, a social verse is is equally, if not more, important than a game verse. You know, all of it's going to be important to like accelerating adoption in the metaverse because we've seen the reactions dude, where, where these normies come into decentraland or whatever mm-hmm. and like the, their gut reaction into the experience is like it's it's not anything that's truly captivating right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 they usually come in with some form of mockery like hey this this is not this feels like playstation home or something like that you know this is like a crappier second life yeah these are like the the typical reactions we see but Projects like the Meta Key, Social Verse, and any game verse and verse that comes beyond that, I think will contribute. And so, when people come into the metaverse, they have a much more in positive reaction, yes. right? So that's our goal. We're just trying to create engaging experiences and content, right? And we're giving the tools to the community to do that. Yeah, and that's sure. it. That's the main takeaway. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, this will be happening on Monday, February 14th. And, um, and yeah, so if you have any questions as to what exactly is going on, you can either join our discord or join Medikey's discord and ask some questions there. We have basically discord connected to our veins. We're on it 24 seven. So, uh, so yeah, hit us up. We'll answer some questions or if you have any thoughts or comments, you can send them to the comment section below on our YouTube channel. And be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to be here for for a long time. So, uh, yeah, get to know us, ask us questions, and, uh, and, yeah, we'll be here. All right, guys, I appreciate you, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.